This is one of the largest stretches of seaweed that we have seen, period. Thank you for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. I want to track this giant blob of seaweed, some recent earthquakes, two significant ones just yesterday, and get into that higher chance of rain. All of that in this video to keep you covered. So let me get to, to this. This is incredible stuff. This here, you see these brighter colors? We've got a satellite up there. Does a great job. It's actually able to pick up on the seaweed, the sargasm. Uh, the sargasm is a type of seaweed. So this sargasm is stretching all the way from the coast of Africa right here through the Atlantic into the Caribbean right here and even over my shoulder back into the Gulf of Mexico. So we're talking about an incredible incredibly long stretch. This from the coast of Africa swinging back toward the Yucatan Peninsula by Mexico and Belize is 8,000 kilometers long, a broken line of the sargasm or this uh, seaweed. That's about 5 thousand miles wide. That, for example, if you look at a map and you see the United States, that's twice as long as the United States. This is incredible. It's the longest uh, we've seen, the longest stretch um, on record, and that means we're going to see more and more of it marching in. Not all at once, There'll be some broken areas of it, but I'm going to be on top of this for you, keeping a very close eye on this seaweed, this long stretch of it as it marches across the Atlantic into parts of the Caribbean and parts of the Gulf of Mexico. Fortunately, we're able to get some of the live data and where it is, and, and I'm able to track it for you. These are some of the reports that are coming in. Again, that big stretch of sargasm that continues to roll in. So I want to get to kind of the data that we're seeing right now, the conditions right now out there. And you see all these data points, of course, across the Eastern Caribbean, watching some areas of sargasm near Aruba. Now, if you're traveling to the area, uh, a lot of this gets cleaned up. It uh, moves away. A lot of this is a natural occurrence. It's just obviously what we're seeing is a lot more than normal. So still get down to the Caribbean. If, uh, if you're headed down there, again, most of us live there. So uh, watching uh, some of the uh, effects of the sargasm anywhere from uh, basically rural town uh, to the uh, north as you get back through uh, Cozumel. So let me get to a few different spots. I've been watching over toward uh, the Cayman Islands and you see some of the pictures coming in. There's some of that uh, sargasm. Now it doesn't usually smell when it's in the water, when it starts to decay and rolls on shore, or rolls on shore and then decays. That's when it usually smells. There's a lot of crews out there that do try to uh, clean that up. So that's one area watching over toward the Cayman Islands. Get over toward uh, Jamaica. Been watching a few batches of that. Again, not everywhere, but here are some of the uh, pictures. And thank you for uh, emailing me pictures and leaving some of the information in the uh, comments. So this is over by Jama uh, Jamaica. We've been watching some of that mainly on the north side. You see it here. So as you get into the uh, north side, Falmouth, off toward, and this makes sense, off toward uh, the east where it's coming from, that's where we're seeing a little bit more. But you see it's not everyone just getting some of the reports uh, in Jamaica. And let me uh, broaden out and then swing back uh, toward more of the uh, Eastern Caribbean. Again, a few reports near Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire. We are seeing more reports though toward Guadeloupe, uh, seeing some of that, getting some of the reports of sargasm around uh, Guadeloupe. And then as we swing back toward uh, Dominica, you can see some of the uh, scenes uh, Again, rolling on shore, some of the batches of it that we're getting over toward Dominica and then points to the south, getting some reports near Martinique, a lot of reports near Martinique, and not as many as we swing to the uh, south as you get back toward St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Barbados, seeing some of the reports. Uh, Trinidad as well. Let me zoom down toward uh, Barbados again uh, along the coast, especially on the south side. That's where some of it has been a little bit worse. Uh, let me see if we have any pictures that have been coming in. And you see here again, some of the batches roll on shore and you see it here. Uh, some of this will get cleaned up. Things kind of move around. So I'll keep an eye on these areas as far as the sargasm is concerned. Thank you for leaving those comments and I'll be monitoring the whole Caribbean and elsewhere for these reports as this giant blob continues to gradually make its way across the Atlantic Ocean in through the Caribbean. Let's get a look at some of the conditions. What's going on right now across the Caribbean? Here's that old front stretched along toward the Bahamas. We had some good rain parts of the Bahamas yesterday. We also had spotty showers in the Eastern Caribbean. Barbados, St. Lucia, we had some showers rolling by parts of Trinidad and Tobago and seeing the rain in Belize. So let me get a little bit closer in uh, what we're seeing with some of the uh, showers coming down uh, north coast of Honduras and watching my friends in Guatemala. We have some of the rain here. So the uh, Caribbean side of Guatemala and then we live to the uh, north as you get back toward Belize City, right on the edge of a couple of the spotty showers that are rolling by. And all of this connected to the front that moves 
through uh, the Cayman Islands. That's moving near Jamaica and back through uh, Cuba. And you see it here, Turks and Caicos over there. Here we go over toward uh, the Cayman Islands and Jamaica. Little batch of showers now starting to approach some of us in the uh, Cayman Islands and watching a few showers through central and uh, south central sections of uh, Cuba right now. Now, as we get back toward the uh, eastern Caribbean, not as much over toward Haiti and the Dominican Republic, although a spotty shower will be possible today. And then we've seen some of the uh, hit or miss showers rolling by like we had yesterday near St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, a couple showers close by. Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, not as much. Northern Venezuela, mainly dry, but I'll be watching this easterly flow and we're going to still see these showers in the forecast. Now we are watching the front and you see it here. This is this afternoon. There's your time frame and you see some spotty showers. Honduras, Belize. I'll get into some rainfall amounts in just a second. Cuba, some hit or miss showers. Again, the Cayman Islands where I've been watching some of the showers nearby now and Jamaica up through parts of the Bahamas and we had some of the spotty showers yesterday. St. Lucia, for example, the same thing and tomorrow it's going to pick up even further. So let's get you out in time. Let me bring you into our Wednesday forecast. Stop it here at three o'clock on Wednesday. You see a little little bit more moisture, that strong easterly flow. So St. Kitts and Nevis, Montserrat, Antigua and Barbuda, back through Anguilla, British Virgin Islands, U.S. Virgin Islands, St. Martin, Puerto Rico, a better chance of spotty showers tomorrow. And still with the old front near the Turks and Caicos, Southern Bahamas, into Cuba, Jamaica, Cayman Islands, some spotty showers will be possible as we swing into our Wednesday forecast. Now moving ahead a couple days, getting you into Thursday. Let me stop the clock Thursday afternoon. We still have this old front right here. So hit or miss showers, central Southern Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, couple over toward Cuba in still spotty showers, Martinique, Dominica. Uh, we may get a couple of Guadalupe down through St. Lucia, Barbados, St. Vincent of the Grenadines, Grenada, not as much Trinidad and Tobago, spotty shower possible in the ABC Islands on Thursday. And then again, picking up near Belize as we get into Thursday. So let's dive into some of the rain totals, two-day rain totals and what we can expect. The brighter colors you're seeing there, that's over 50 millimeters of rain or two inches of rain. So that's a potential uh, coastal Belize, uh, the coastal sections of Guatemala, even inland Guatemala as you get over toward the higher terrain near Costa Rica, Panama on the Caribbean side, and then back near Guadalupe, Dominica. Doesn't mean all of us are going to get this rain, just showing that higher chance where some of us are going to see over two inches or 50 millimeters of rain. Elsewhere in the blues, those are spotty showers that could amount anywhere from two inches or less or 50 millimeters or less. So just some spotty showers, lesser totals, but at least things are active because I know a lot of us clearly need the rain. We've got a lot of farmers, uh, agriculture workers on this uh, channel. So keeping an eye on things for you very closely. Belize today, rain chance 60%, 81 degrees Fahrenheit, and then the scattered showers remain for Jamaica and the Cayman Islands, some as well for tonight, 87 degrees. The front's just to the north, so it's about 30 degrees Celsius, so it is going to stay very warm. We get back through Aruba today, mainly dry, but I showed you in a couple days. By Thursday, a slightly better chance of getting a few spotty showers, Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire. St. Lucia today, just like yesterday, passing shower, 30% chance of a shower, and of course, staying on the very breezy side today, winds east at 40 kilometers an hour, or 25 miles per hour. Trinidad and Tobago, rain chance isn't too high for us, about a 20-30% chance one or two showers will be possible. Otherwise, the mix of sun and clouds, 30 degrees Celsius, it is heating up over toward uh, Trinidad. So scattered showers today, spotty showers remain the rest of this week. I covered that for you, and I'll stay on top of that as we go throughout the week. I do want to talk about earthquakes for a second because we had a couple yesterday. Last night, early last night, late into the evening, Costa Rica, 5.5 magnitude quake and in Ecuador in western sections of South America, a significant quake of 6.8 right along the coast. So things have been a little bit shakier yesterday. I'm keeping an eye on all of that. Keeping an eye on uh, any earthquakes, aftershocks with that one in Ecuador. I'll keep you posted. And of course, tracking the seaweed. Leave your comments where you're seeing it, where you're not. And if you get some of those passing showers today, this is a weather community for you. Let me know what's going on and we could uh, kind of let each other know what's happening with the weather. Until I see you next time, have a great rest of your day.